Good morning guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm finally filming my makeup routine and I'm actually filming this video before I start work for the day because I do need to do my makeup today. I've got a couple of meetings and I don't think I'm going to wear makeup tomorrow so that's why I'm like, let me film it today. <laughs> um, before I get into it though, I want to cover off a few things. So, number one is I am not a makeup artist. <laughs> So this technique works for me, how I do my makeup works for me and my skin type. Um, of course, if you like something and you want to try it, give it a go, but I'm not saying like this is the way that it has to be done. Um, secondly, I am um, in my late 20s, I'm 29, you guys know that, and the products I use are, I'm going to say expensive, I feel like they are, and I don't want you to feel like you have to then go and buy the same products. Now what I mean by that is... Back when I was, you know, early 20s or like even late teen, um, my makeup shopping was done at like Priceline or at like drugstore um, places. And the reason for that is, is because I was working part time, I was at uni, um, I didn't have much money and I still really loved makeup and I wanted to try and make it look good. And it's still possible to make it look good with uh, makeup products that apply to your budget. That's what I want to say because I'm going to show you some products that are pricey and I just don't want you to feel like you have to buy them, <laughs> if that makes sense. I don't know. I just, yeah, I just want you guys to know that you don't have to buy the exact same things or feel pressured because you can still achieve a really nice everyday makeup look with drugstore products um, and I'll try and list some of the other products I used to use a few years ago. Um, the stuff I've been using now, I've been using pretty consistently. Once I stick to <laughs> once I stick to something, you guys would know, I stick to it. So I'm going to go through everything. I have already done my skincare, um, but let's jump straight in. The first product that I am using is the Too Faced hangover primer. I will apply this all over my face and I'm just going to put it onto the back of my hand. I do use my fingers guys. Like I said, I'm not a makeup artist, but I will apply this kind of everywhere. Just like press it into my skin. Primer is a must. The primer I used to use before I started buying primer from like Mecca or Sephora was the Astralis one. I don't know if Astralis still exists, but it was from Priceline and it was about $12. And honestly, it worked as good as this. I'm gonna say with Primer, Primer is a product that I think doesn't have to be, I don't know, really fancy. Um, I like this one because I feel like it keeps my skin hydrated, but um, obviously use whatever one you have or buy, buy whatever one you want. Now, I actually will start with the actual makeup application and I'll go in to do my brows next. So I've just got everything kind of in this container and I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know how I am going to do this. I don't know how, I just had a thought about that. I've got another palette here that I can use as a mirror. Okay. So I'm going to do my brows now. So I do my brows first because I have very hairy Greek eyebrows, guys. Thank you, dad. Thank you so much, dad. Um, and so I know a lot of people might do their brows afterwards, but I do them first because I don't like to get any foundation in them. So I'm just brushing them up with a little spoolie brush and I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in medium brown. Now, I really do not fill my brows in a lot and I'll show you what I do because as you can see, my eyebrow hair is really thick <laughs> and I'm sorry, I need to do my eyebrows. Um, I'm just gonna quickly shut up while I do this because I can't talk at the same time. <laughs> so guys, I just do like a line underneath and just fill that in because I like them. I don't like them to be really harsh. Um, and the other thing I wanted to say, so I do my own brows. I tweeze them and trim them. I don't tint them anymore. But if you want me to do a video on my brows and how I do them, can you let me know in the comments? Let me know if you want it on YouTube, TikTok, or, or TikTok, YouTube or TikTok. Um, because I haven't done a video on them in a while and I always get asked, where do you do your brows Adele? Who does your brows? Guys, it's it's me. <laughs> All 
All right, now once I do that underline, I just go in and kind of like brush up and I look if there are any gaps because obviously my brows are not perfect and I do have some missing hair. And very lightly, I will just do some brush strokes through the rest of the brow, guys. If you make a mistake, don't worry because I'm going to clean it up in a second. And I'm going to say that I'm really happy with that. I'm quite happy with that. All right, once your brows are done, you're then going to, as I said, clean them up. So we're going with concealer. I bought another one of these literally last week. So this is the NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. And oh, people are going to be like, I can't believe she puts concealer on her eyelids as primer. Guys, I do. I grew up in an era where... <laughs> Doing this was the thing. So I've just grabbed a winged liner brush. This is from Zoeva. And what I'm going to do is grab the concealer, put it onto the brush, and I'm just going to then carve out underneath that, that brow line. So I'm going to try and get it so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, there's a lot of concealer on there, Adele. What have you done? Don't panic, don't panic. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it to both of them. And then what I'm gonna do is literally like drag the concealer down with the brush. So what I mean by that is literally just dragging it down like that. Oh God, my eyebrows are so hairy, I'm so sorry. And then grabbing your finger, yep, I use my finger. You're just gonna like pull it down the eyelid. Be gentle on your eyelid guys, be gentle. <laughs> Now, I'm going to put a tiny bit more just because I feel like I need it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <gasps> Fuck. I literally had to clean. I had to clean my eyelid. I can't have concealer in my eyelashes. <laughs> Fuck that. All right. So, that was a bit of a... That's what happens when I look into the camera and not into the mirror. This is going to be interesting. It's going to be so entertaining. At least you have some entertainment, guys. So my plan is to edit this video um, either today or tomorrow so that you have it before the vlog, which will be nice. All right. So you kind of just want to press that into your eyelid. Then what you want to do is go in with some eyeshadow. So the eyeshadow that I use every single day whether I'm going out or having a casual day or just doing everyday makeup is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. It's from Tarte. Now, the first color that I go in with, I'm just gonna put it like that, is this color here all over my lid. And that color is called Flower Child. Now, all of my brushes, guys, are from Zoeva. I'm actually gonna buy myself a new set of brushes actually. So I'm just gonna use a blending brush, picking up that color, and I am just going to pat that all over my lid. I love this palette because it's very versatile in the sense that it's got really nice basics, like nice nice nudes, but it also has some darker colors. So if you do want to have like a really smoky eye, you can create it. Um, and this shadow just blends really well. Back in the day when I first really started getting into like makeup and eyeshadow, I used to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, oh, what were they called? She used to bring out, release all these cool eyeshadow palettes. Um, but I definitely have been using this one for the better part of like three or four years. So yeah, you just want to give your um, lid a cover, cover, even, even cover. Then you are going to grab the color beside it, which is this one here. It's called Smarty Pants. I love the names in this palette. And I'm just grabbing a like defining brush and you're going to go in just to the crease, just like that. Now, You'll see I just went like that. I do tap off the excess, but 
We will clean up the, the, the face in a second because some eyeshadow falls out onto my cheek and we don't want that because we want to put foundation there. So what you want to do is just keep blending that into the crease. Now, because I'm working, I'm not putting too much. If I was going out, I'd probably like go in a bit heavier. But we just keep it, you know, we just keep it simple. Then I am going to go in with this color today. On top of that, which is Rebel, using the same brush. I really gotta wash my makeup brushes, guys. I've been saying that forever. And that's why I'm like, I should just buy a new set. <laughs> to be fair, I've had these brushes for literally years. And if you clean them and you look after them, they last quite long. Um, or if you invest in a good set. Again, when I was in uni teen, I bought my makeup brushes off eBay because they were like, um, copy like copies which is probably bad to the brand but they were like copies of the Zoeva brushes I think the brand was called Jessup J-E-S-S-U-P and I and I bought them um but I do love the Zoeva brushes so just very lightly in that outer corner we're just gonna just do that little swirly swirly thing swirly swirly thing <laughs> who is letting me do a makeup video who who all right, guys, I'm pretty happy with that. See, not a lot, not a lot goes into it. Then what we're going to do is grab another wing liner brush. This is the 3317 wing liner from Zoeva. And we are using this color here, the last color at the bottom. It's called Leader. And we are going to create the wing liner. Now, this is my trick. I don't use actual eyeliner ever. And I've got to concentrate on this because I don't want to fuck it up so I'm gonna do one it's not coming up as clearly as what I had hoped on this camera um, maybe it's the lighting in my room anyway what you're gonna do is literally just create that winged liner look but with the eyeshadow so grabbing your concealer cutter out thing you're then gonna go in and clean up directly under the eyeshadow of that line so you're going to make it a little bit cleaner just like that which just makes a world of difference now you can see I've got fallout there and what I'm gonna do is grab a the makeup wipe <laughs> that I used to fucking clean up my concealer in my eyelashes just grab a makeup wipe and you're just gonna go like that look at that now some people might put like tape or sometimes I even put an eye mask there and that catches it um, again guys do whatever you want now just because I did wipe off that kind of area I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more what do you want to call it primer all right and now we're gonna go in with our foundation so I'm still not done with the eyeshadow by the way I will come back to that I'm gonna pop that there <laughs> so then what we are doing is grabbing the same angled brush that we cut out the brows with we grab our foundation I use the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the color warm nude this color is still okay for me at the moment because I've still got a little bit of tan from the summer. Um, I've just put a little bit onto the back of my hand. I, I don't like a lot of, um, what do you call it, foundation guys. So what you're going to do is, I just realized I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I'm just going to pick up a tiny bit onto the back of this brush and I'm just going to cut out the top part of the brows so like this I'm just gonna go in between and I'm just gonna like blend, blend that out with my hand and blend that down with my hand and I just go across the top of my brows like that Across the top of my brows, like 
that and I just use my hand to kind of do that and then we are picking up my stippling brush from Zoeva it's the 125 guys these brushes are old so I don't know if the the numbers will be the same and just gonna pick it up from my hand and press it into my face now guys, I used to use a beauty blender. If you use a beauty blender, good for you. Um, I have <laughs> I have a sensory problem now with the beauty blender. I can't put it on my face. The texture doesn't feel good. So <laughs> I don't use it. So then you're going to just apply the foundation everywhere. I kind of just like pat it in to my skin. I'm going to grab a little bit more because I've used what's on my hand. I'm probably going to use the same amount. Not a lot. This foundation goes a long way. I think that you could use probably the same amount and do like a medium coverage. I do like a, a medium-ish coverage if I'm just doing work. If I'm going out, I will pack it on because you can really kind of build, build it up, which I like. Um, so we'll do the forehead now. I'm just gonna move that back because I don't wanna get makeup on there. We'll finish this. And then also obviously, don't wanna forget your neck because we don't want to have, what do you call that when your neck is a different color? <laughs> um, so we'll just blend that all out. And guys, this foundation also doesn't oxidize. So the color that it goes on is the color it stays all day. Um, and I do think it obviously goes nice with that um, primer. Okay. So once you have got your foundation application on and you're happy, what I do is go in with my concealer, same one. And I apply it here and I also apply it here back in the day they they used to not they beauty youtubers used to do like the whole underneath here it was very cakey but less is kind of more now which I like um, I don't really put concealer anywhere else unless I had a pimple I could cover that and then, yep, guys, I use my finger again. So I use my ring finger and I just like literally blend that in. And once that is done, I'll just have a look at my eyes. I have very deep little bags. So I'm just going to go one there and one there. And I might just blend that in again. I'm happy with that. And sometimes I just run the remainder like over my nose. But that is done. And then I'll just wipe my hand there as well. Then grabbing a fluffy powder brush. This is just the tapered face brush. We've got the Too Faced translucent powder. Um, and this is just how I set my face. So I literally just grab a little bit into the lid and I will just do this <laughs> and that just kind of holds everything in place all right sorry guys I keep looking at that instead of looking at you I'm really sorry <laughs> I am not I'm not a professional all right then we are going in with some bronzer. Also, I don't use like any cream, cream products, like cream contour or anything like that. This is easy and quick for me. So I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer in number two. Before this, I use the Too Faced chocolate Soleil, I think it's called. Um, and then before that, I think I just use like maybe a Maybelline bronzer from Priceline. So again, you don't have to go out and buy this because I know this is a quite an expensive item. So what I'm doing now is this brush is from Real Techniques. It's just like a little angled brush. I'm just going to apply it into, I guess, the, the cheekbone, kind of on the upper part of the cheekbone. And I'll just blend that up into my hairline. I put some around the top of my hairline as well because I like that. It just runs up my face a bit. Obviously, when I'm like really pale in the summer, in the winter time, I will not use this color. I think I'll have to go down a shade because this is really good for me when I'm tanned. Um, and 
I'm not going to be tanned for much longer. So I do the same on the other side. And then I also do a little bit like this. And I just bring that down my neck as well. And then I even put it onto my nose. So I literally just grab a little bit. And I, I even like squeeze it kind of like that. And I just pop it. I kind of do like two lines. This is my nose contouring. <laughs> Makeup artists are going to watch this and be like, what the fuck is she doing? Anyway, the end product is good. Don't come for me, please. <laughs> the end product is good. Also, guys, do whatever works for you, right? Whatever's easy for you, whatever you can afford, whatever feels good for you. This feels good for me. All right, so I've put some on my nose and it's probably a bit too dark. <laughs> so I'm just going to clean that up with this brush that I had the translucent powder on and just kind of, you know, not have harsh lines. We want to have soft, glowy, you know, skin. Then once I'm done there, I will go in with some blush, a blush moment. And I'm just using the cheek brush from Zoeva. Um, guys, this blush is beautiful. It is from Charlotte Tilbury as well. It is the love is the drug. I love the name. I love the name. And so I pick up both of that. And again, I kind of just keep it high. And I go all the way to my hairline. Keep it high on my cheek and go to my hairline, which I've only started doing recently. Um, and what I'm about to do, putting it on my nose, I only started doing recently because I saw it on TikTok. And I really like how it looks. It gives you like that fresh sun-kissed vibe. So that's applied. Love, love, love that blush. The blush I used to use um, was one from MAC previously and then before that there was one from Priceline I think it was Maybelline as well I think a lot of my makeup was Maybelline or Astralis when I was buying from Priceline then we are going in with the uh my favorite thing highlighter Laura Mercier we're using the indiscretion look at this look at this guys I was a very loyal person to Champagne Pop I think I've even got my champagne pop in here because I haven't I do you don't even want to see this <laughs> I'm going to show you it it's, it was from Becca and it was like a collab with Jaclyn Hill look at this <laughs> what the fuck it out I gotta throw that out I'm gonna clean my bathroom cupboard which you'll probably see in the vlog um all right so what we're doing is grabbing the highlighter with the highlighter, I pop it onto like the highest point of my cheekbone. There. Look at that. And I'm going to do the other side as well. Sorry. <gasps> pop it there. And then I put some on my nose, guys. And my favorite part, I also put some here. On your top lip. Because it's cute. It's like a little highlighter moustache. All right. That is done. Now, we are not done yet. I forgot to do something with the eyes. So going back to the In Bloom palette, we're actually grabbing this color in the corner, the shimmer. It's called Funny Girl. And we are grabbing a flat brush. I don't know where this one is from. This is not, this is a separate one because it looks different. And you are just going to pick up the color. And what you're going to do is put it onto your brow bone just to give that little glow. And I put it into my inner corner as well. I'm an inner corner gal. <laughs> All right, guys, we are nearly done. So once we have done that, we're going to do the lips. So next is the liner for the lips, which is Morphe Backseat Love, which I just apply all over. I love this one. It's perfect for like every day. Nice and nude. And then today, guys, I am actually wearing a lip gloss. And, oh, I forgot to say, sorry. 
I used a highlighter brush from Zoeva when I was doing my highlighter. I nearly, nearly messed that up. So, I'm then going in with the MAC Honey Love lipstick, which I haven't bought a new one yet, guys. <laughs> so if you saw my empties, you would have seen that. Still works, though. So we keep using it because we don't like waste. And then I'm using the Unreal Child lip gloss. Now, this has a tingle in it, which the girl did not tell me. Um, but that's okay. I, I actually really like the color. And so you go over the lips with this. like that and then we're gonna do mascara which is my holy grail mascara I'm still not done yet guys we're nearly there so it's the extreme lash mascara from where is it hourglass all right now the way you apply mascara is important so what I do is I apply my mascara to all my lashes evenly it's kind of like a one once all over like that and then I really just pay attention to like the back part of my lashes and I just keep doing layer 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 Might even do a little bit of that. And can you see just how the difference that that makes? It really opens up the eye. Again, the makeup, the mascara I used to use was the Maybelline. I think it was like that yellow one, that thick yellow one, like the Colossal. I loved that one. I think it's still good. And I'll do the other side. This is my concealer eyelid. I swear I can still see concealer in my fucking lashes. Anyway. So same, I will just focus on the edge. And then one last thing before, two things actually, before we're done, done. Okay, so putting concealer in that eyelash made it very thick. Anyway, <laughs> I'm trying to just even them up now. I need to wash my face properly tonight. All right, you know what? I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Now, two final things that we have to do. I will set my eyebrows. So using Perfect Pony, which I spoke about, I've spoken about quite a few times, actually. I use it in my hair and in my brows. So what you want to do is just kind of brush your brows up and this will set them in place all day. I know some people do soap brows, um, which is fine. Do that. Um, I just like this because it actually really holds them. And it gives you kind of that like laminated look. And it's a two in one because you can use it in your um, hair as well. So the brows are done. Yay. And then I always use setting spray because often I will run around all day and I will have to do my makeup usually at like 7 a.m., 6 a.m. I use a setting spray. I use the All Nighter, the Urban Decay one, and I'll just do that. And guys, <laughs> that is how I do my makeup. Now, please don't judge yet. I'm going to quickly go do my hair. Put on my fit for work and then I'll come back and show you. My hair has been straightened. I put on my jewelry and I'm ready for the day, guys. I am working from home. I've got a meeting at 11 and a meeting at 12. And obviously when you do meetings online, you just need to make sure that here up is appropriate. So I actually have tracksuit pants on. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is my makeup look. This is my everyday makeup look. If I was going in the office, I would do the exact same makeup. If I was going out, I would do something a little bit different. I would use different shadows in that palette, but the rest of it would be the same. Um, if you want me to do like a going out look, the next time I go out, I can do that. So just let me know in the comments. If you have any questions about the products that I use or um, 
anything that you want to add, please leave it below. Make sure you like this video. Um, let me know what other content you would like me to make because I'm happy to make literally anything if, as long as you guys want it. Um, this was highly requested, so that's why I thought I would do this one. But thank you so much, as always, for your love, support, and just being here. I'm forever grateful for you guys, and I really appreciate you. Anyway, I hope that you have a wonderful day, night, whatever, whenever you watch this. I love you so, so much. Thank you for being here and I'll see you next time.